beautiful artists. How are you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good and today is the day because we are finally starting paint. We are in color so we are finally going to start using paint which I know you have all been waiting for. So today we are going to for our color project this is going to be a we're, I'm extending uh, our lesson on color till the uh, for till Thanksgiving break, so that we so we're gonna have a two week project on this. We're going to be making the base for our color painting today, and then well this week, and then next week we're going to add some details and fun things to our sponge paintings, and that's what we are doing today. We are doing sponge painting, so we are going to use sponges to paint. Yeah, okay. And um, what we are going to be focusing on complementary colors. So if you'll remember from our lesson last week, complementary colors are red and green, blue and orange, and yellow and purple. Now there are a couple of things that make complementary colors complementary. First thing is that they are directly across from each other on the color wheel. So yellow and purple are across from each other. Orange and blue are across from each other. Red and green are across from each other. Also, you do not need red to make green. You do not need blue to make orange. You do not need yellow to make purple. By putting these colors next to each other, it makes them stand out because there's no elements of the primary color in this secondary color. Think of how we put red and green together at Christmas time. If you have a green tree and you put red tinsel around it, that red tinsel is going to stand out because it is against a secondary color that it does not that it is not involved with. So that is just a little reminder on complementary colors, and let's get painting. So. The first thing that we're going to do is we are going to choose our complementary color. So I'm going to go to my color wheel and I'm going to look at the different color combinations I could do. I could do red and green, I could do blue and orange, or I could do yellow and purple. I've chosen today to do yellow and purple just because I think it'll be a really interesting um, combination that I've never worked with before. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So. Let's get started. Let me show you guys how to make your sponge paintings. Also, um, if you don't have any paint at home, I will also be doing this same work with markers and crayons. So whatever you have at home, you'll be able to use. But let's get into it. Let's get started. Okie dokie. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my purple and yellow paint and I'm going to put it on my little tray. If you don't have a little, you probably don't have a little tray at home, you can use a paper towel or a paper plate or whatever uh, is available to you in order to paint. So I've got my purple and my yellow paint that is right, I want to do so you guys can see the whole process and there we go I'm gonna put it right here that'll be fine because I'm only gonna do half the page with this and the other half will be with the um, markers and crayons just so you guys can see that process as well in case that is what you are needing to do at home but I'm going to take three sponges you do not have to have three sponges. This works just as well with two or even one if you uh, rinse as you go. But I'm, I have my three sponges. I wet, it, I wet them and then I squeezed out as much of the water as I could. And so those are my three sponges that I will be working with. One of your sponges is going to be for your primary color. One of your sponges is going to be for your secondary color. And your last sponge is going to be for blending. So let's get started. 
the way that I'm uh, the way that I'm going to paint this is going to be very um, deliberate. I'm not just well. I'm putting things in. I'm putting colors in random places, but it's for a reason. So I'm going to start with my yellow. I'm going to choose just different parts of my paper to put my yellow paint. There isn't really going to be a rhyme or reason to it. I'm just filling the space with my primary color first because it is the lighter of the two. So I would rather blend off of this than blend off of purple. So I'm going to put my yellow in all different kinds of sections all around my paper. That seems pretty good. So I have lots of different sections of my yellow. Now I'm going to take my purple secondary color. I'm going to fill in the other spaces with the purple. I want to try to get all of the white off of my paper. And fill in all of those spaces. And what's great about using this sponge is it gives it a really interesting texture, which I personally love when paint looks like it has a texture to it. Okay, so I filled in all of my spaces now with the yellow and purple paint and I think it looks pretty cool already because it's really standing out and uh, looking like I wanted it to. So that's very exciting. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my third sponge and I'm going to, these parts where the two colors are coming together, I'm going to kind of blend them. I'm going to just go around the edges where the two colors have came, have came uh, are coming together and blend that out so that it all looks very cohesive. And it also ends up creating a whole new color. Put that over there. I think I've gotten all my spots. And you can see I have a lot of spaces of yellow, a lot of spaces of purple, and a lot of spaces of this new color. Now, by doing that, I got rid of a good bit of my yellow, so I'm going to come around to my yellow sections again and give that one more dab because I definitely want the yellow to be a prominent player in this painting. And there we go. That's really all we're doing for our sponge painting is we are going to so we're going to put the primary in some places then we're going to take the secondary and put that in some places and then uh, blend the uh, edges in between so there we go it looks more brown than it actually is on the camera here's a close-up I think it's I love how um, the texture that it's created I love how the purple and the yellow are really standing out next to each other, and it's very interesting. So that is step one of our project. So when you finish this, you will want to set it aside to dry and hold on to it for next week when we add some details and things like that. Now I'm going to clear this the paper towels off. I really, I'm just going to move them to the side. So that I can work on these two blank sides with the crayons and markers for those of you who do not have paint at home. So I'm going to start with crayons. Same thing like the paint, I'm going to take my crayon and I'm going to color yellow in different spots all around the page. Same thing with the purple. Now I'm not going to have a third uh, crayon to like blend it or anything. And even if you don't really like the way that the two blended paints look together, you can uh, you can just do two sponges, just do the two colors. That's fine. Um, I kind of like when they're a little bit blended, but I'm going to give you guys some creative range on this. So if you prefer to just have your two colors and not the blended section, that is fine and completely up.
to you. So I'm going to color in all my white spaces that I haven't already made yellow, this purple color. And there we have it. This is how you guys can do this project with crayons if you need to. And now let's look at marker. I'm going to start with my primary color, my yellow. I'm going to come around the different parts of my page. Okay. And now I'm going to do my purple to all those spots that I didn't get before with the yellow. we have it. I'm going to make sure that I get as much of the white off of my paper as possible. And there we go. That is uh, what we are doing. We're making little color. Uh, oh, sponge. Well, I call it sponge painting if you're doing this method. This would be, I'm just gonna say complimentary color drawings. <laughs> um, any, th any of these three methods is acceptable. Um, I'm actually going to pause. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow to this painting because I did make a little bit more of that third color than I wanted. I think maybe if I was doing this again, I might not have blended it as much but you guys can learn from my mistakes and, you know, do whatever you think looks best. My only requirements is that you choose a complementary color, so red and green, purple and yellow, or blue and orange. I can see that you are putting, um, that you have different sections of each color, that it's not all just one big blob of red and green, yellow and light. I wanna see deliberate sections of the different colors and that you took your time and you made something that you're proud of. That's really what I'm looking for. And one last look at our painting slash coloring. There we go. And that's gonna be it for this. Oh, let me show my whole face. That's gonna be it for this video. I can't wait to see y'all's work. Do not forget to leave, like, put these aside because we are going to be doing part two next week where we are going to um, put a little bit of, put something in the, on top of the sponge paint. So, yeah. All right. There it is. I will see you guys next week. If you have any questions, please email me or send me a message on Canvas slash Seesaw. And I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Goodbye.